What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. I'm going to do a defensive anti-character counter video today. It's gonna be about Eddie Gordo. I have done this type of video before, like over a year ago, one and a half years ago. And I didn't know as much then as I know today. So this, these, I'm gonna do a new video series here. At first I thought I was gonna do this, you know, with a blue background, that type of Tekken lecture video, where I talk about all characters in one video. But I think all characters deserve a few minutes, so might as well have a game there and uh, do it in higher detail. And you guys getting actual visuals, seeing the moves, I think is going to help a lot. So today I'm going to talk about Eddie, and I'm, it's not, I'm not going to make it super complicated because I feel that never helps anyone. Instead, I'm going to do what really helped me when I learned to defend in this game. It's break it down, as usual, as we've talked about, into four general rules that if you apply those, and I can explain those very quickly to you, they're going to be a lifesaver. Trust me, if you just apply these four rules, wow, you're going to do so much better in the Eddie matchup, I can promise you. And then we're going to get into four details, I call them. Additional details that are going to help a lot as well. So the optimal thing here is if, if you can apply all eight of these. So let's get into it. If you want to fight Eddie, well, this is the first rule and it's very important. Never charge Eddie. Wait for Eddie to come to you, because Eddie's keep out is so incredibly strong. If he attacks you, he opens himself up. If you attack him, it's the complete opposite. He's not open at all. He's gonna wreck you. And why is this? It's because he has sidestep 3-4, which is one of the best keep out tools in the game. Don't come near me. Row, safe mid launcher. Uh, the super evasive down back 1 plus 2 that also launches back 1 plus 2, super evasive. Oh, what's this? I can lie down on the ground and most of your attacks will whiff. So, do not attack Eddie. Rule number one, very important. Rule number two, be aware of sidestepping in this matchup. Eddie's sidestep is the worst in the game. A lot of people don't know this. So take advantage of this. Oh, I'm playing Kazuya, you can't sidestep me? Well, GG! That's not going to be an easy matchup with Kazuya's 50-50. For example, if Eddie does a jab into a sidewalk, this is his sidewalk, you see how bad it is? Look at this, jab. Oh, he can't step my health sweep, even though he stepped in the right direction. Terrible sidestep. Take advantage of this with the character you play. With Kazuya, it's like, oh, it's for free to do my 50-50 mix-up, although I have to be aware of his backdash, which is very strong. Uh, and uh, you also want to sidestep a lot versus Eddie, because he's, he's got pretty shit tracking on a lot of his moves and strings. And uh, for example, you've probably seen this, a lot of Eddies run in with while running free to get a relaxed mix-up. Um, what you can do here is... oh. <laughs> Wait, uh, what you want to do here is always sidewalk if an Eddie is uh, running up to you. There's a good chance he's gonna do that move or some other move which, which will be equally steppable. So if Eddie's tracking is bad. It's, it's very bad. Uh, so stay away from Eddie, don't run into him. When he runs in, try and sidestep. It's usually a good uh, option. Uh, and if you do want to engage Eddie, and this is often when you've built momentum, for example, 1-1-2 one, one, knockdown, oh, we have a good chance now to put pressure on Eddie. Because in the neutral, he has access to his fantastic keep out tools. So if we do want to attack Eddie, stick with mids that have a very low hitbox. With Kazuya, it's forward, 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 which also hits grounded. Great tool versus Eddie. He can apply none of his bullshit, get out of jail for free cards. Great option versus Eddie. So this is also a rule versus Xiaoyu. So that's the third rule. The fourth rule, which is uh, also very, very important, is whenever Eddie goes in to relax, you've seen the options, back free, free, great counter at launcher, while standing one free, 
uh, full crouch down forward four, relax. Well, you've blocked while running free, he's in relax. All of these options, you have to break his momentum. Knock him out of a stance, you do not want to take that mix up. Uh, so for example, he does back free free, and I have uh, blocked it. At the very least, Kazi has better options here, but I'm just demonstrating the importance of breaking his momentum. Oh, he's, he's gonna try and stand up now and it's my turn. Break his momentum and apply your pressure. Some characters actually don't get any more than uh, a little 7 damage thingy here. But that's always better than nothing. The most important thing here is breaking Eddie's momentum. But Kazuya is very lucky in this matchup. He gets back to 4. You see, I can float him for a mini juggle. So we get 36 damage actually here, which is really good. Uh, Devil Jim, for example, is not so lucky to get anything that floats. He gets back four, like this. But it's still good, does a chunk of damage. Uh, and we get momentum, you know, a 50-50. So again, this is where you have to lab. You go into practice mode and you see what is the best option my character gets here. Do I get anything with big damage or do I only get to knock him out of it? But the most important thing is to get in your muscle memory to... If this is blocked, just knock him out of it. it, it that is the most important thing here. So, those were, were the general rules, and now we're going to get into four detailed rules that are not as important, but still very important, so please, if you can, get these under your belt as well. Um, you have to know that if you do get hit by um, while running free, he has a lot of frame advantage. Um, so if he does, you can't really backdash, oh, you know what, I'm, I'm taking this in the wrong order. We're, we're gonna start with full crouch down for four, and then he does slippery. Whenever I get hit by one of these moves uh, that put him into relax, he has some form of frame advantage, so of course I can't do back to four. But what I like to do here is just do a, si uh, a backdash as quickly as I can. Backdash. If I block back 1-4, I'm gonna show this later. Backdash. There's a good chance the second hit of the slippery kicks, that's the launching hit, will not connect. But you have to do a clean backdash as soon as you recover or it's going to connect. And now you're going to see a sensitivity to sidestepping. You hear Wilhelm? If I do a sidestep here... Uh, wow, it connected? It's, it's, it's supposed to not connect if I do that. What, what the fuck? Okay, that, that's the way it's supposed to look. It's supposed to. Yeah, you see? So backdash is the better option, that's what I usually do. But you can also sidestep out of it. And always a good idea to try and punish. Back to four would not connect. Oh, whatever. And he, you know that he, he still has uh, the chance to do some momentum there. But uh, if you if you get hit by full crouch down for four, for example, a backdash, in my opinion, is your best friend to not have to take a mix up there. Uh, while running free, as I initially started with, has got better frames. So if he does windmill or slippery kicks immediately after that, you, you can't uh, backdash. You see? Don't think you can sidestep either, no. So here we actually have to take the mix up. But, of course, if he does slipperies and you block, they're launch punishable. Uh, and same thing with um, the, the mid launcher. You can float him out of it. Like so. Uh, but so, while running free, you should never really be hit by that because he has to run in and you should be stepping. You shouldn't be hit by that. 
But so remember, full crouch down for four. If that hits, you have plenty of time to do a backdash out of harm's way. Uh, and if he does uh, handstand stuff, like back one four into a handstand, uh, try and hit him out of it. Um, yeah, try and hit him out of a handstand. Uh, he has the bullshit here of uh, being able to duck, uh, which is a bit annoying. That will kill a lot of moves, as you see. That's where Jin is really good in this matchup, because his back to one will always connect. But again, the importance of having a low hitting mid is very good against stuff like this. But of course, this means we don't get a combo. Okay, I can do a, a small combo. And so that's very important. Hit him out of handstand. Uh, I also like to backdash after back 1-4. Uh, we'll record both options. Like for example, an Eddie might mix these two options. Uh, if I do a backdash, backdash into block, I negate both of these options. Backdashing is super important versus Eddie. Backdashing and sidestepping. So again, importance of backdash in this matchup. Uh, and last thing I'm gonna talk about is a... Um, quite annoying mix-up. You see a lot of Eddie's use. It's up forward free. So here you can do up forward free free, which is mid mid. Uh, the second mid mid being launch punishable, or he does into a low here that guarantees uh, that head spin. Uh, wait. That's guaranteed. Uh, or he can do it into relax, like so. What I like to do here is always keep my guard up. I don't duck this, unless he spams the low version, because uh, the low doesn't hit too much, doesn't hurt too much. The upward free free it launches you for enormous damage, and the relax mix up, uh, I can counter from from standing. Uh, so we will record upward free free. I'm just gonna show the punish here quickly. You can quite easily do a little dash into an electric here. Sometimes you can even do a standing electric, but that will just whiff sometimes, as you see. So better to do a little dash. If you have a hard time with electrics, or if you play any other sort of character, uh, down forward one, two is an easy punish here. Like so. If you want to keep it very simple. But you should always, your ambition should be to launch. Of course. Oh, how did I drop that? Wow, Electric Master main man. Okay, Jesus. Uh, I'm not warmed up. <laughs> uh, so, uh, oh right, uh, I gotta show the... Uh, oh god. So I'm gonna record all options just to show you guys how I deal with this. Uh, record... There we go. Oh, I got hit. If he goes, if he goes into relax, I try and while standing for him out of it. But you see that low option there. You can while standing for punish it if you do block it. Knock him out of relax. I got hit. He gets launched. I got launched. Fuck! Oh, I'm ducking. I'm breaking my own rule. That's great. Knock him out of it. Fuck you, Eddie.
Uh, but yeah, th this is how, how I try and deal with this. But it's it's quite complicated. Uh, the string is very good. And uh, oh my god! So uh, that is what I had to say about Eddie. If you apply all of these, I'm sure you you're going to do much better in this matchup. He's not as hard as you think to deal with. Uh, I, I used to have a, it used to be hell in tag two for me versus Eddie. But what did I do? I just ran into him and wow, I get launched. I get launched. I get launched. Have patience. Stay away. When he runs in, sidestep him. Um, if he uh, use low hitting mids, as I said, knock him out of relax, build momentum. Uh, you're going to do much better. So I hope this video helps some of you and I will see you on the next video and have a nice day.